Hi everyone, um, I am coming to the end of a really weird week and I wanted to share something with you that happened to me this week. Um, I'm, I am in this absolutely beautiful place, by the way, for the weekend. This is called the Sheep Station and it is in Scarista on the Isle of Harris. That is the beach, yes, that is the beach. And a wonderful lady, Catherine, donated this to me um, after she, came, she was out swimming with me a lot last year. And after the year I've had, um, or I say we, have my whole family, um, she's gifted this to us for the weekend. And it's my birthday today, so I'm really appreciative of that. Thank you so much, Catherine. Um, so to go back to the story I was going to tell you, on Monday um, I was heading off for a swim with some friends and I've put on a bit of weight with the chemotherapy and so my wetsuit is really tight. I've not really been swimming in my wetsuit as much because of that reason <laughs> and also joints are a bit sore. Anyway, um, I had my wetsuit on halfway. I was driving my van and I came across an RTA, um, a, a road traffic accident on um, just about a mile away from the swim location and uh, being a nurse, nurse hat on, phone 999, um, attended to the casualties that were there and just tried to keep things a little bit calm. Um, but I was still thinking, oh, I'm going for my swim. <laughs> they were okay. Um, I'm not that heartless. Um, they were okay, shocked and, and upset, obviously, but they were okay. So after this, and once the road cleared, I rushed off to, to meet my pals for swimming and zipped up the wetsuit, didn't jump in as you think I'm going to. I didn't just jump in and swim off. I, I never do that. Um, I still have a sensible head on and uh, acclimatized a bit. And then we went slowly and uh, we, we swam off out to a buoy and to return. On the way back, I started to get a little bit breathless and it wasn't exhaustion. I've been out swimming a lot. I've been in the pool. I've been re regaining my fitness um, since I finished radiotherapy a few weeks ago. So, um, it was more tightness of the wetsuit, wet felt like I needed to remove it, but I was a wee bit away from shore and I tried to remain calm and not frighten my friends, but I was getting really breathless. By the time I got into the shore, which was a struggle, I have to say, I had uh, developed a cough. So removed the wetsuit, got out of the water um, and started to feel a little bit better, but was still coughing and I couldn't get rid of the cough. By the time I got home, which was about 10 minutes drive away, I was, I noticed I was coughing up some pink frothy sputum and to the medics out there, you know what this is and so did I. I immediately thought, sipe, swimming induced pulmonary edema. Um, so anything that's pink and frothy when you cough up can usually be a sign of pulmonary edema, um, which is basically your lungs filling up with fluid. So I phoned, I took, I had some flu tablets up the house to, um, after everything I've been through, I've now got a, a pharmacy at the house. Um, I took some flu tablets and phoned the doctor straight away because that's what you should do. When I got to the hospital, all roads led to, I had just finished radiotherapy and they were going down the road of diagnosing me with pneumonitis. Um, and I spent five hours in the hospital and was told I had pneumonitis, which is a condition, a side effect from radiotherapy but is very rare. So even though I had mentioned SIP at every point and to every doctor and told them that it happened during swimming after an RTA that I was invo not involved in but helped out at, um, they, they decided that it was pneumonitis and they, were, they, diagnosed, they prescribed me with lots of big steroids which I haven't taken. Because I wanted to speak to somebody else, I wanted a second opinion. It's, it's quite unknown, SIP is unknown, um, and you tell medics and they look at you blankly unless they're an open water swimmer. Um, so I contacted people who I knew were channel swimmers, uh, channel swimmer medics, um, and got in touch with a couple of people, and they were brilliant and told me that they thought it was classic SIP. I told them the results of my CT and all the tests I had had, um, but yes, it was to me as well and them and finally they got to speak to the, the doctors and explain that it didn't sound like pneumonitis to them. Well, I passed the message on to them. And so I could have been on really high dose steroids which lowers your immune system, makes you feel rubbish and you don't sleep and then it gives you a puffy face like I've got just now. <laughs> so I was gonna do everything at all costs not to go on that. But the message is, it's triathletes that normally suffer from SIP. 
usually and it's a combination of adrenaline high blood pressure maybe um if you've got high blood pressure cold water swimming a tight wetsuit and exertion obviously and then the symptoms are breathlessness while swimming and then coming out of the water you might develop a cough you feel better once you remove your wetsuit but you develop a cough now that you need to be phoning the doctor if that happens if you develop a cough after swimming um, it, it doesn't mean that you've ingested water there's something going on with your lungs there so you must phone a gp or um, nhs 24 and seek medical help because I took fluid tablets at home because I had them, but not everybody has them and, and I knew what to do because I'm a nurse. Um, so for you who are out there, be aware of SIP. It's quite rare, but I have heard a few cases of it now and I think it's underreported, which is why doctors aren't really aware of the symptoms in open water swimmers. So I just thought I would share that with you so that you can make yourselves safe and everything on the sea safety course that we teach um, unfortunately, the only thing that worked was getting out of the water for me. Actually, lying on my back didn't really help because it wasn't something, it wasn't panic. It was um, something that was going on inside my lungs and I wasn't able to get air. So, lessons learnt. Don't jump into the water after an RTA. Go home and chill out and have a cup of tea.